Bruh, I'm hella mad, bro. You see, bruh, I should've... I'm hella mad, bro. You see the... I know y'all trying to figure out what's wrong. Oh, excuse my hair. But, bruh, see, good thing I didn't fall. I really liked it, bruh. I really was liking him, bruh. That's crazy. I'm hella upset right now because I text dude from North Carolina and my text didn't deliver in two seconds. And I'm like, okay, that's weird as fuck why my text didn't deliver. My text always go through. He's always available. What the fuck is up? Something ain't up. So I google.com, right? Okay. So I googled his name because <laughs> I don't got nothing but his his number. That's it. So I googled his name. I saw his little accomplishments, North Carolina Central, boo -hoo, yeah, whatever. And I'm like, bro, first of all, he was too successful to be single, anyways. I'm like, you successful ass nigga. I know you got something. It was like a year ago. I was on Snap Story or whatever, and I was like, I know this dude. I was talking about my niggas, and I said, I know he got a wife somewhere. I just know it because there's no way you this successful without a wifey. Like I know she's somewhere. I just don't have the facts. I was correct. I was correct. Now I'm hella upset because I know. And now I'm like, okay, you're wrong if you know now. Now you know. You know better now. But it's like, actually, I don't know because it's just Facebook. I mean, I mean, her display picture is him or her. It, I don't like these smart niggas because you know these niggas with these businesses and careers always lying, talking about they're going somewhere on a business trip. And I'm just mad as fuck because I didn't do shit. So, so I don't open my legs for this nigga, first of all. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. But still, I'm mad as fuck. I'm just, I'm just mad because, you know, I knew it was too good to be true. It was too good to be true. Like, you just you just this whole good nigga. Ain't nobody snatch you up. <laughs> the fuck? I'm not going to tell them that I know because I got my Michael Corr bag coming on the way. But still, before I go to this conclusion, I have to reevaluate the situation. Is that my man? No. But actually, he did tell me he was my man. He said, I'm your man. Whatever you need, whenever you need me, I'll be there. That's what he said. And then, like, I text you and you not there. Like, you a liar. Niggas be lying. I swear. Is she a whole reverend, bro? I'm talking to the reverend husband. I'm mad as fuck. Actually, I FaceTimed him. And I was just asking him, just being a little nosier. You know, when um, she a reverend. But, you know, when you be FaceTiming people a little more so you get more in their business, right? But, you know, I was FaceTiming him the other night. And I was just like, that's crazy. You got that big house to your stuff. You ain't got nobody, a girlfriend, a wife. He said, I did. I was married a couple years ago. But it just, we didn't get along. I said, why y'all didn't get along? How y'all just didn't get along? But y'all know me. Y'all know I'll be up on game already. I just Sometimes I just be going with shit. Like, I be up on game. That's why I open my legs for that nigga, bro. But look. But I noticed when I was asking him about, like, have you been married? And why I didn't work out with his wife? He was getting very uncomfortable. Y'all know me, I be street, I be head on with the shit. So, I'm, so I noticed when I start asking him about why he didn't get along with his old wife or whatever, he started getting very uncomfortable and started saying he need to focus on his work. I said, hmm, that's funny because you didn't need to focus five minutes ago, but now that I'm bringing this situation up. So I was like, I noticed you getting real uncomfortable now that I'm bringing this situation up about your little past or whatever. And he was like, no, I'm just trying to focus. I said, that's crazy. That nigga wasn't trying to focus. That nigga, was, that nigga wasn't trying to focus. Lying ass nigga. Oh, and let me tell you how I came about to gather this information. So I went on his LinkedIn page after I Googled his name. And then I found that he had a connection with somebody who had the last same last name as him. So I took that same last name and I put it on Facebook. And that turned out to be his sister. Then I looked in her Facebook friends. And then I... So then once I went to her, his sister age, I went into her friends list, typed in the last name and somebody came up. I went to the cutest one uh, page and I was like, hmm. And then I clicked and then, pff, whoa, on the back, 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 background, her Facebook page was hurt. And him, I said, oh, oh my God. So I was like, maybe, maybe that's sis. So I looked at the comments on the picture and it said beautiful couple. I said, oh shit. Them, them comments are confirmation like a motherfucker. I said, damn. I'm like, shit. Damn, that's wife. That's crazy. Wow. The thing is, you feel me? I be really on my shit for real. I be, you know, I be on my shit. Like, remember I was on here? I was like, remember? I was like, man, I think I, I like that North Carolina dude. Like, he made me feel some type of way. Like, when he called me, I don't want to get off FaceTime. Like, I really think I like him, but I don't want Karma to come get me. I was saying that because I'm real careful. Like, well, I be trying my best to be careful and, like, you know, with my feelings and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm real guarded and protective of myself, feel me? Because I love myself for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But damn, bro, why? Damn.